Hi, this is Professor Vic. This is just a short video to uh, introduce you to Excel, get you ready to do lab number one. Uh, taking off my glasses so you don't see that reflection, get blinded by it. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, Excel lab one. Let's do this. Okay, open up your browser and let's go to Weird Economics. There it is right there, labor. Okay, we're looking at lab one. And this is on uh, workforce stats and trends. Okay, it gives you some instructions. Basically right here though is what we want to get to. That's the Excel spreadsheet. You can download it by clicking on that link. And I got that. You're going to want to download this and um, start working on it right now. Let me go ahead and make it nice and big and make the font size big so you can see what's going on. Okay, there's two things I want to show you here. One, the first thing is how to use Excel as a calculator. Okay, so you're going to look through this word problem on labor force rates, uh, unemployment rates, how to calculate this. All I want to show you now is once you figure out what numbers you want to put in, Here's how you use Excel to calculate it. Okay, so let's say, uh, you know, I'm going to let you do the problem solving yourself, but let's say you want to do, um, okay, say 50 million people are in the workforce and 200 million are in the population. You can just type in equal signs 50 divided by 200, and this will give you the answer, okay, this is using Excel as a calculator. All right, you use the you 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 use it as a calculator uh, like that. Okay, um, one thing that you want to look at, I already put it in percentage terms for you, but if you don't want percentage, you can put it in uh, a comma or a decimal point, or you can put it in dollars. Okay, you have that functionality up here usually in the home tab, but we want to keep that in. In percentage terms. Okay, so that's what you're going to do for problem one here. Problem two is a little bit trickier. Um, again, let me put this, make this bigger. All right, so we have data. Here's a here's a, a description of the data. The data is of people. Okay, people who are in the labor force um, or not in the labor force actually. Here's person one. There's two types of Okay, so I have person 1 through person 50, and that's what I have in each row. So each row is a different person. Each column, column is a different characteristic of the person, and so the characteristics are given here. All right, so, you know, just to describe, over here we have a person's annual wage. I, you know, you could, if you wanted to, you could put this in dollars. That person's annual wage is $30,000 a year. Okay, their hourly wage is $15 an hour. Um, so this stuff, I hope, you know, makes sense. Uh, you know, 15, 30,000, that's all good. Those are called continuous variables. Okay, you, you know, some people may make 100,000, some may, people may make 10,000, it's continuous. You can buy the dollar, all right? Um, so person one makes $30,000, uh, $15 an hour. Here's their age, they're 26 years old. Okay, so these are descriptors. The second type of variable, though, is called a dummy variable. Now, the dummy variable takes either the, the, the value of zero or one. Zero means no to a question, one means yes. So, this is the characteristic we're looking at. Does this person have only a high school degree? Well, it says zero, so the answer is no. That person ha has more than a high school degree. Is this person female? No. Okay. Is this person white? Yes. The answer is yes because that's a one. Is they are they black? No. Are they married? Yes. Employed? Yes. Okay. Um, person two, they had they do yes have only a high school degree, um, and yes they're female. Okay. So that's dummy variables. So that's how you would describe these two people. These people are anonymous. This is taken from the ACS, a, a large survey of hundreds of thousands of people in the US. Um, but this describes what they what they are, uh, what, kind of, what kind of work they have. You know, so I have, you know, are they out of the labor force? Are they unemployed? Do they just work part-time? Okay. To solve 
this problem, what you want to do is you want to use Excel to do a different type of calculation. Okay, what we want to do here is we want to look at all 50 people and calculate the average for them. Okay, we want to calculate the average uh, age, wage, etc. All right, and the way you do that is you want to. I have the formula right here to get you started, but let's do let's do something for annual wage. Let's calculate the average annual wage. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to type equals again. Okay, whenever you're calculating something in Excel, you start with equals. Now, to calculate the mean or the average, you type in average in parentheses. Okay, the average of what? Well, you want to take the average of a group of numbers. All right, which group of numbers? Well, I want to take the wage for person one, which is 30,000, and I want to take the wages for all my people here, all, the, all 50 people. So I'm going to highlight, that's the group of numbers I want. You have to be careful, you don't want all those numbers, you don't want to go over here, you want just the numbers in 8, so I'm on column in, I'm starting at row 8, all the way through in 57. So call row 57, still in in. Okay, now I hit enter, enter, and that gives me a number. $33,544, okay? Um, if this wasn't in dollars, you could put it in dollars up here. Um, if you don't want to see the change, 59 cents, you can use these arrows with the zeros by them to just put it in dollar form, okay? So that's how you find the average for that column. Let's go ahead and do the standard deviation, because standard deviation is also important. You do equal sign, standard, Dev, st dev. Is that how you do it? Oh dear, I messed that up. It's st dev. Okay, so equals st dev. Okay, and I'm going to highlight that same group of numbers. And what's that going to give me? Let's put that in dollar signs again because that's still dollars. All right. So what do I have here? Well, the average of these 50 people, um, their average annual wage is $33,544. Standard deviation of that is $20,000. So there's a big range. You know, some people are making a whole lot more than $30,000. Some people are making a whole lot less. Okay, so we have that for everybody. Now what you can do is, I already have done this for this group, this dummy variable. Okay, who has only a high school degree? Well, I did the average for this group, and you can click back up here. This is your formula bar. It shows that you know, right. I, I highlighted the correct numbers, and I did the average of it. Okay. Um, right, where'd my numbers go? Okay. Now, the thing about dummy variables is they're all zeros or ones. They're all yes or no answers. The average for a dummy variable is gives you the rate. Okay, a rate is in a percentage. So what is this answering? Who has only a high school degree? Well, the average tells us 28% of the sample have only a high school degree. Okay, so that's what we want for all the dummy variables. Now what you want to do is, you don't have to do this for every column, for every characteristic. I've done it twice here. You don't have to do it for everyone. All you do is you highlight what you want to copy, Okay, basically, I want the averages and I want the standard deviations for all these other rows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom right corner and I'm going to drag it. Now, what's this say? Well, 50%, all right, what's highlighted? Well, now the column for female is highlighted. Female is also a dummy variable. What's this 50% mean? Well, it means 50% of the sample is female. I'm going to drag this over one more. I get something very strange. 3,034%, what does that mean? Well, it's calculating the average of age. Is your age in a percent? No, it's not. So you want to take this and you want to highlight the comma variable. Okay, now what does it say? 30.34, what does that mean? The average age is 30 years, 30.34 years. Okay. 
age is not a dummy variable, okay? Now I can do this for the rest of these. I'm going to hit Control C, um, Control V. Another way you can do this is right click, copy, right click, paste, okay? 82%. What's that? 82% of this group are white, all right? For the rest of these dummy variables, I come back here. Rest of these dummy variables, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click the bottom right corner and I'm going to drag it all the way across. And what the, has this done? It's helped me c calculate the averages for every characteristic up here. For example, how many people, what percentage, what's the part time rate? Part time rate is 21%. What's the unemployment rate? The unemployment rate happens to be also 21%. Is it weird? I don't know. Let's check. Let's make sure we did it right. Okay, 21%. This is the average of J8 through J57. J8, through, this is the group of people. This is all 50 people. It's their unemployment status. Okay, I hit that. The unemployment rate is 21%. Okay, um, so you want to save that. That's how you solve both of these problems here. Okay. Um, so use the video, go back, look in how, you know, how to do it uh, until you get it right. Okay, uh, good luck.